Do you usually Google things while looking for information? If so, you might be wondering if you can use anything found on Google in academic texts. There's no easy answer to that. What you should think about is, what do you want to use, if it fits the purpose of your study, and how you could relate to it in your study. Maybe you'll find empirical data or non-academic sources to use for analysis, like newspaper articles. Newspaper articles aren't academic and don't present research in a manner that is found in scholarly articles. So you can't use them as your only source, you need the academic perspective as well. Newspaper articles could be used for analysis. For example, if the aim of your study is to describe how youth unemployment has been depicted in Swedish media. Remember to always employ a critical perspective to your sources. So for example, who's behind a certain publication or data? Is it a well-known organization, author or publisher? And how can you use the source? Wikipedia, for instance. Wikipedia is great when you start off and you need to get an overview of something, but you have to remember that anyone at any time can edit content there. Who and what you can trust is always a relevant question. This is not only true about non-academic sources or things you find on the web. You have to assess scholarly journals as well. For example, what's the main focus of the journal? What kind of research does it present? Who are the authors, the researchers published in the journal? And to which organization or university are they affiliated? You have to employ a critical perspective and evaluate all the sources you use, but in different ways depending on the sources and what you use them for. And remember, if you have any questions or need guidance, you're always welcome to the library.